For this project, you'll need a super fine yarn. I'm using this yarn called Indofil under the category 4 ply. We'll also use a size E or a 3.5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. Join this week's giveaway and grab the chance to get the PDF pattern of this top for free by answering the question below. And if you're new here, hello there. My name is Kat and I make crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please hit like, comment down below, and subscribe. Starting with a chain of 15. We're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And to do that, we're going to yarn over and insert the hook in the fourth chain. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now chain four. And skip the next four chains. And work a double crochet in the next chain. Next, chain 4, skip 4 chains, 3, 4, and work a double crochet in the last 2 chains. So 1 double crochet, 2 double crochet. Now moving on to round 2 or row 2. Chain 3. Chain 3 here will count as 1 stitch or 1 double crochet and turn your work. On the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. Next, chain 3. And we're going to work a V-puff stitch in the double crochet stitch from the previous row. And to do a V-puff stitch, we're going to do the first puff. So yarn over and insert the hook in the double crochet stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. And you need to make the loop just a little bit higher. And you're going to repeat that again. So yarn over and insert the hook in the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. And repeat that one more time. Now, if you prefer your puff to be a little bit thicker, you can repeat this as many times as you want. I have here a total of seven loops on my hook. Now, to close this stitch, we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. Chain one to close the stitch. And that is a puff stitch. Now, to make a V-puff stitch, we're going to chain one. And we're going to repeat that same stitch again. So let's work another puff stitch in the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops and chain one to close the stitch. And that is our first V puff stitch. Next, continue with a chain of three. And we're going to skip the chains from the previous row and work two double crochet in the last two stitches. So, one. And our last stitch, which is a double crochet, we're going to place that in the third chain of the turning chain three. And that ends row number two. Now moving on to row number three. So chain three and turn your work. And for row number three, we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. And the remaining stitch will be just a repetition of the previous row, row two. Only this time we're going to place our V-puff stitch in the center chain one space of the V-puff stitch from the previous row. So make a puff stitch, chain one, and another puff stitch. Chain one to close the stitch. Now chain three, 
and two double crochet in the last two stitches. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat all throughout the panel. So chain 3 and turn your work. And continue working this until the length of your lace panel will reach from the underbust. That is the area under your breasts. So from the underbust up to the neckline or the neck level. So do that and meet me back later once you're finished with this part. I just finished my lace panel and I have about 19 rows in total. Now we're going to fasten off and cut the yarn and we're going to attach the yarn in the lower part of the lace panel. So that is the last stitch of the lower part and from there we're going to work our stitches upwards up to the last four rows. So let's do that. Once your yarn is attached, we're going to chain one. Now chain one here does not count as a stitch. And we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. And work two single crochet in the in the row, in the first row. So that is one and two. And again work a single crochet in the stitch. And then two single crochet in the row. So from here you will repeat this pattern working one single crochet in the stitches and two single crochet in the row until you reach the last four rows. So do that and meet me back later once you get to the upper part. I'm now here at the upper part of my panel. Now from here we're going to start with our decreasing row. So that means we will be deducting one stitch in each row. To do that we're going to chain two and turn your work. Now chain two here does not count yet as a stitch. Okay, so turn your work and work a double crochet in the next stitch. Now these two stitches, the chain two and the double crochet will count as one stitch or one double crochet two together or one double crochet decrease. Next, we're going to double crochet into each of the stitch. At the end of the row, we're going to chain three and turn your work. Chain three here will count as one stitch and from here we're going to double crochet in each stitch until we get to the last two stitches. So the last double crochet and the double crochet decrease that we did in the previous row. I'm now here at the end of my row. I have here my last two stitches. Now what we're going to do is make a double crochet decrease in there. So yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now let's repeat that again. So yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch. That is the last stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and we have our last three loops left. So yarn over and pull through all of those three loops on the hook and that creates a double crochet decrease or a double crochet two together stitch. Let's repeat the previous pattern again. So chain two and turn your work. So it's the same as what we did in the very first row. Or the second row. So double crochet in the next stitch and these two stitches will create a double crochet two together or a double crochet decrease. 
Now continue with a double crochet into each stitch until you get to the end of the row and you will repeat the same pattern again. Now don't worry so much if your work will start to curve because we will, we will be able to compensate later when we start making the other side or the other panel. So keep on decreasing for this side until the length of your side panel will go from the side of the breast and towards the back. When you have your panel, make sure to end your last stitch in the lower part of the top so that we can start working our border all the way from the lower part and working our stitches upwards and towards the side of the panel. So moving on to the border. Start with a chain of one. Chain one here doesn't count as a stitch and turn your work. And from here, we're going to single crochet into each stitch. When we reach the upper part, we're going to work two single crochet in each of the row in the sides. So starting with the first row. one and two two single crochet so continue with two single crochet in each of the row across until we reach the lace panel and when you come down here to the lace panel we have our last stitches here the single crochet row and the double crochet row we're not going to work any stitch in there. So what we're going to do is just continue with two single crochet in each of the remaining rows in the lace panel. So let's start with the very first one here. That is one single crochet and two single crochet. So continue with this in the next row until we reach the very end. When you get to the end, we're going to fasten off and cut the yarn. And we will repeat everything from the very beginning of the side panel to create the other side. So do that and meet me back later once you've finished with this part. I just finished my second panel. Now from here, we're not going to cut the yarn. We're just going to continue with the halter straps. So continue with a chain that will go all the way to the back of the neck. So make sure that your chain isn't too short for this part. Now once you have your chain, we're going to fasten off and cut this. And we're going to attach the yarn in the opposite side of the lace panel. So that is the last stitch. And from there, we're going to repeat the same number of chains as we did for the previous strap. And once you have your chain, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And continue with a single crochet in each of those chains. One single crochet in each of the next two double crochet. Three single crochet in the chain three space. And one single crochet in each of those puff stitch. And continue with a single crochet in each of the chains until you get to the end of this row. Once you're done with the straps, we're now going to move forward with the ruffles. So attach your yarn in the last stitch at the lower part of the top. And when your yarn is attached, we're now going to single crochet in each of the row, starting with the first one here. 
So single crochet in the single crochet row. Next, two single crochet in the next row. And continue with two single crochet in each of the row. When you get to the last two double crochet stitch here in the middle part, we're going to single crochet in each of those stitch. Now on the four chain four space, we're going to work three single crochet, two, three, one single crochet in the double crochet stitch, three single crochet in the chain three space, and then continue with one single crochet in the next two stitches and work two single crochet in each of the row all the way until you get to the end. At the end, we're going to chain three. Chain three here will count as one stitch and turn your work. Now on the next stitch, we're going to work three double crochet. So that means there will be three double crochet in one stitch. One, two, three. On the next stitch, we're just going to work one single, a uh, one double crochet. And again, on the next stitch, three double crochet. So this will be the sequence that you will repeat all throughout the stitches until you get to the end. End of row number two for the ruffles. Now fasten off and cut the yarn and from here on we're going to cut the yarn after we finish each row. So now we're going to attach the yarn in the first stitch at the opposite side and chain 3. Chain 3 here will count as one stitch. Now on the previous row we have here our three stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to work an increase in the middle stitch or the second stitch or the second double crochet on in each of those three double crochets. So first we're going to work one double crochet and in the second stitch we're going to do two double crochet or an increase. So that is one and two and then the third stitch we're just going to do one double crochet. So every time you reach the second stitch in each of those three double crochets you're going to work an increase. Okay, so do that and meet me back later once you reach the end of the row. So here at the end of the row, we're going to fasten off and cut the yarn. And again, we're going to attach the yarn in the beginning of the next row. And then from here on, we're going to chain three. And for this row, row number four, we're going to work one double crochet in each of the stitch. So there will be no increases. And at the end, we're going to fasten off and cut the yarn. And we're going to repeat again that row, that same row, until our ruffles will have a total of 10 rows. So do that and meet me back later once you're finished with this part. Once you have your ruffles, we're now going to move forward with the eye cord. So I do have a separate video for this, but just to show you, what you're going to do is you're going to fold your yarn in half. So we will be working with two strands of yarn. Once you have your length that you need for your size, you're going to work a slip knot and insert your hook in the knot. And we're going to separate the strands into two parts. So the upper part and the lower part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the lower strand into the hook and hold that in place, yarn over and pull through all of those loops. And that is our base for the eye cord. Now let's repeat that one more time. So wrap the lower part in the hook and yarn over and pull through. You will keep on working this process until you have the enough length that you need for the back ties. 
And once you have your I-cord, we're going to place that at the back of the top. And that marks the end of this video. Join this week's giveaway by answering the question in the comment section below. Thank you so much friends for watching. And as always, have a good day. I'll see you on the next video.